Hi everyone, this is Kim Goyette, your meditation mother, coming to you live from Austin, Texas. If you've heard one inkling of news, you know that we have been in some type of catastrophe over the past week in Texas. This crazy frost came in and snowstorm and we had freezing pipes. The water's not working, the electricity is off, no food or access to fresh water. And so it's been an interesting week. It made me so grateful for all the things and the conveniences that we have on a daily basis. So I thought this practice would be all about gratitude. Gratitude for the little things that we take for granted. So let's get started. Yoga for everybody with Meditation Mother. So get into a comfortable seat. It could be cross-legged, legs extended, whatever that is for you. You can rest your hands in your lap. And we're just going to take a moment to close the eyes and get centered. Start to bring your attention to your breath. And just noticing the rise and fall of the chest. And the rhythm of your heartbeat. This powerful energy that runs through your body every second of every day continuously without any directive from you that inhale and exhale the pumping of the heart beat by beat And just bring your awareness to those inner rhythms, a little bit of gratitude to this endless cycle that allows us to be who we are in this life. And bring the hands to heart center, bowing the mind to the heart. Gently open the eyes, release the hands. We're just going to do a little bit of seated flow to allow that incredible breath, that breath or prana, that energy, that life force within us to come in and out of our body. So very grateful. Let's bring our fingertips out to the side. We'll inhale, left arm rises up. Exhale over to the side. Inhale, switch sides. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, left. Good. Inhale, left arm over to the right. Good. Just allowing the breath to flow. Inhale, continue to the rhythm of your own breath. Just noticing that incredible energy that fills the body, refreshes the mind, and works continuously without any effort from us. Just allow that to flow. A couple more breaths like this. And we'll finish one more on the other side. And release, come back to center. We can turn sideways or you can stay where you are. I'm gonna plant my feet, grab onto the backs of my thighs, sit up nice and tall. And again, we're gonna connect our movement to our breath, this incredible life force or prana that lives within us. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, tuck the chin, rounding in, open up the back body. Inhale, heart rises. Exhale, separating in between the shoulder blades. Open up the back body. Inhale here, lift the low belly up. And exhale. So grateful for movement. Inhale here. 
and exhale to hold, tuck the chin, direct your breath in between the shoulder blades. Take a deep breath there. Exhale here, inhale, grow tall, and exhale, relax. Nice. Let's lengthen that left leg out in front. You can flex your foot, bring your right knee up towards your chest, hold onto the knee, sit up nice and tall. We're gonna really show appreciation for all our organs now. They do so much work throughout our body to keep us lively and healthy, to replenish us, and to release any toxins that we no longer need or want. And so we're gonna do some wringing out with twists that will help to release and move the energy out and beyond. So keep your left hand on your knee, reach your right hand back behind, look over your left shoulder, twist the upper body. Look over that shoulder. Take a deep breath here. If you want, you can start to tuck the chin and make circles with the chin and face. Warming up the cervical spine. And opposite direction. And coming back to center, bring your face back to center, slowly unwind. Let's try the opposite side. Extend the leg, bend the opposite knee and hold on. Keep your hand on the knee, reach back behind you, look over the back shoulder, flex the front foot. So when we do twist, we're wringing out, it's almost like we're wringing out a sponge filled with water and all the water that pours out is all the junk and toxins within the body. That stagnant energy, allowing for a little bit of a squeeze within the organs. And then when we unwind all that fresh blood and oxygen fills our body, rejuvenates our system. Let's tuck the chin and start to make circles, warming up the cervical spine. In one direction, and then take it around opposite direction. And coming back to center, slowly unwind and lengthen both legs out. Just pause for a moment, notice your body, allow all that fresh blood to flow, fresh oxygen to circulate. Great. We're going to come to hands and knees. You can cross the ankles or get there however you can. Knees are underneath the hips. Spread the fingertips out nice and wide. And we're just going to move our hips now. So we started with the upper body, working with the cervical spine and the mid back. Now we're gonna work with the hips. So start to shift the hips over to the right, sit back towards your right heel and then move over to the left and come to hands and knees. So we're bringing attention and awareness to every part of our body. Every part is so important for us to thrive, to feel good, and when we bring appreciation and gratitude to each part of us, that part allows us to thrive. So just moving, really connecting with the breath. The inhale as we come to hands and knees. Exhale as we sit back towards the heels. And you can allow your head to relax and move in any way. Elbows are soft. You might feel a little bit of warming in the hips allowing some synovial fluid to lubricate the joint very healthy and one more time around coming back to center good showing a little appreciation for those hard working hips let's take it to the other side we don't want to favor one side over the other so lean to the left sit back towards the left heel and then come back to hands and knees really connecting the rhythm of the movement with the breath. Good, relaxing, allowing the head and elbows just to flow with the rest of the body. Nice, a few more times like that. Feeling the warmth in the hips. Good, 
and coming back to center, hands and knees. Let's take it all the way out to our belly. So slowly lower down. You can stack your hands one on top of the other. Rest your forehead on the hands. Lengthen your legs back and you can even separate your feet a little bit wider. The tops of the feet are on the mat. Come up onto your forearms. Spread your fingertips out nice and wide. We're getting a little bit of healthy compression in the kidneys, kind of squeezing the rest of the toxins out. So a little bit of healthy compression in the low back. Heels can roll wide if you'd like to give yourself a more space. And then draw the elbows back, roll the shoulders open, chest is open, draw your chin in. And just take a few breaths here. Open up the heart center the belly, working with digestion. All those things that happen automatically without us even thinking about it, all the hard work our body does on a minute to minute, second to second basis. So beautiful. And release all the way down. Let's come to hands and knees. We're gonna press back to child's pose. You can bring your toes to touch, knees wide, forehead on the mat, Relax your elbows all the way down and just feel the support of the earth underneath you, getting grounded, forehead connected with Mother Earth, feeling that support. Soften and surrender the chest. And then come back to hands and knees. Let's cross the ankles or you can come to seated in any way. And we're just gonna take it to the center of the mat, grab onto the backs of the thighs, slowly lower all the way down. Relax your body, upper body is grounded, shoulder blades are on the earth. You can bring your knees a little bit more bent, heels closer to the glutes, and then feet are nice and wide out to the edges of the mat. Start to windshield wiper the knees, back and forth, just rocking from hip to hip, working on the low back, this time really focusing on the lower body. And then allow both knees to fall towards the left. Chest is up towards the sky, arms are along your side or wherever is comfortable, you can bring them to your belly. And then noticing that right knee, see if you can lengthen isometrically, it's not a big move, just a little bit, lengthen that right knee away from you and then take your right glute and move it forward. Open up that hip flexor, your quad on the right side, a little bit of activation in the right glute. Allow your shoulders to soften. Again, we're in another twist, really focusing on energizing the organs. Great for digestion as well. Stimulating the ascending colon as we bring our knees to the left, and then we'll stimulate the descending colon as we bring our knees to the right. Relax your glutes, soften your body, bring both knees pointing up towards the sky, and just pause for a moment, centering your hips. And we'll take the knees over to the right side this time. Allow them to fall open, over to the right. Notice your left knee, lengthen that left knee away from you and then move your left hip forward, your left glute forward, really activate to open up the hip flexor, the front of the quadricep. So we're really focusing on the big muscles of the lower body now. all the muscles that allow us to move and walk and sit and stand, leap and jump, some of the miraculous things that our bodies can do. Release your effort, bring your knees back to center, point the knees straight up, hips are back to center. Good, let's lengthen the right leg up towards the sky. You can flex your foot and open up the back of the leg. So your knee might be slightly bent and that's fine. However you feel good today, you can bring your hands behind your leg 
and then lengthen that heel up wherever you are is fine. We're going to start to rotate the ankle a little bit, focusing on one of the hardest working features of our body, the feet. Always, always on the go, literally. So let's send some loving kindness and appreciation to those incredible feet of ours. Good, rotating the opposite way. You can flex and point a little bit, opening up the calf and hamstring. And then bend the knee. Release all the way down. Let's try the opposite leg, left leg straight up. Grab onto the back of the thigh. Keep your knee bent as much as you'd like. Flex that foot to start. And then start to rotate the ankle, showing some gratitude for those two amazing features of our body that we get to stand on, that take us places, allow us to interact, all those amazing things that we get to do. And rotate in the opposite direction. All right, and flex and point for just a moment. And slowly release the leg. Very good. Let's extend the legs out below us, all the way out to the corners of your mat. So feet are nice and wide. Good. And then we'll take the right leg and bring it alongside the left leg. We're going to make a C with our body. So my both legs are going towards the left and my left shoulder drops down. My left hand reaches down as my right shoulder comes up. You can sweep your right arm overhead. And if it feels okay for you, cross the right ankle over the left ankle. So now we're making a C or a banana shape with our body. So we're going to show appreciation for the whole right side of the body. On an inhale, focusing on your right foot, take an inhale all the way up the right side of the body through the fingertips, expand the ribs and lungs. And on an exhale, surrender back down the right side of the body through the toes. Inhaling pure gratitude for this whole half of the body. And exhale, softening, surrendering, and appreciation. Let's do two more breaths like this. Inhaling up. And exhale. One more. Inhale, appreciation for every cell of your right side. And exhale. Slowly release the right arm, bring the shoulder blades back to center, uncross the right ankle, separating the feet, and pause for just a moment. Notice how your right side feels compared to your left side. Let's do just the opposite. So right foot's nice and wide, bring the left leg alongside the right leg. Start to drop your right shoulder down, left shoulder up. And then if you want, sweep that left hand overhead, cross the left ankle over the right ankle. And now we're going to be focusing on the left side of the body. Take a deep breath from the left ankle all the way up through the left hand, filling up every cell of your body on that side. Exhale, surrender and let go. Inhale, left side, deep breath up, filling up every part of your being with appreciation and then exhaling, surrendering and gratitude. Inhale, all the way up the side body. And exhale. One more time, really sending love into every bit of your body on the left side. And exhale, release the arm all the way down. Center the shoulder blades, uncross the ankles, and just soften into Shavasana. Gently closing the eyes. And we're going to send our vision all the way sweeping through the body 
providing gratitude and appreciation for every part of our being. Bringing some life and love into the toes and feet, ankles and calves. Giving some attention to the knees and thighs, the hamstrings and glutes, the hips, the low belly and all the organs in that space the ribs and all the organs protected in that space. The chest and arms and shoulders and hands, wrists, heart center, just bringing love and kindness to every part of your being. The throat and face, mouth, ears and nose and eyes, allowing our senses to be turned on in full. And all the way through the crown of the head, pure gratitude from toes to the very tip of the head. And take a deep breath here, feeling that affirmation of deep appreciation. And start to wiggle the fingers and toes, ankles and wrists. And hugging the knees into the chest, rolling over to one side. Let's make our way all the way up to seated. And we're gonna take this time, in addition to our incredible body, our incredible mind. There are so many things that we take for granted and I'd love to pause here for a moment and just show appreciation for all those wonderful things, the resources that we have. So gently close the eyes, get into a comfortable seat, invite your breath in, gently through the nose if comfortable, exhaling out the nose. And we'll take this time with some gratitude affirmations. And with everyone, just allowing the words to sink deep within your heart, feeling that sense of appreciation. I am so grateful for this breath. I am so grateful for this day. I am so grateful for all the resources that are provided to me. I am so grateful for fresh water and healthy foods that nourish my body. I am so grateful for all the love and support from my friends and family. I am so grateful for a welcoming community. I am so grateful for all the abundance in my life. I am so grateful for the pure health of myself and my loved ones. I am so grateful for this inhale and this exhale. Let's relax the concentration, bring your hands to heart center in a prayer like pose and gently surrender the mind to the heart and pause for a moment. Allow yourself to sit here in full gratitude, gratitude of all the resources and abundance in your life.
Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm Kim Goyette, your meditation mother. I hope you enjoyed this time to take a few moments and show appreciation for all the beauty in your life. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Thank you.